and we're going to go up here and see the rock and come back and then we're going to go and see the cave. Oh my gosh. Well, we're going to go to the cave. The cave and the rock and then we are going maybe to two-story rock but we'll see if mm -hmm. we have time. And we'll see these natural marvel friends of conservation and Boy Scout maintained. Extravaganza! This morning, you know, I grab my comb, I start on my car, and I head on the road. I light me a cigarette, and I oh, head oh. on my way. You know, I hit me a traffic jam. Now I know I'm gonna be late You know I walk in the door I'm getting dirty looks The boss man look at me And his head begin to shun He said you're late again boy you know you better, you better get it right He said, you, what's your excuse? I told him, me and the wife, you know we had a fight Not to be confused with King, King Philip's, Philip's cave. cave. Okay. That looks like a special kind of oak. That's not a white or a black oak. On the inner in brain. Yes. You can, you can write it down. Look at him. He must have found something or he's building a nest. He's looking right at me. He's trying to show us something. Looks like a little kangaroo mouse. Yeah. I think he's a white-footed field mouse. Does he have um, white feet? Yeah. Ah. And a white belly. Yeah, nice. white-footed field mouse. Nice. <laughs> he has one, two, three, four toes. Oh. Four toed. So, um, look at all these square angles. Do you think that that would be evidence that these rocks were hewn? under the auspices of the Sharon Conservation Commission with the help of volunteers and the Sharon Friends of Conservation. Some of the volunteers are local youths and 
if the meadow is not cleared within a few years, it will become forest and will lose this special habitat. Here I am walking across the bridge constructed by the Sharon Friends of Conservation. We're heading for King Thorpe's Cave. The Boy Scouts. So everyone pitches in and Sharon to keep yeah, up some of these yeah, chairs. Glacial erratics. Here is King Philip's cave. Right in here? Right down there. Oh. You gotta climb in. We should have brought some Klieg lights. Oh, here's a, this is a good, uh, if you can slowly work your way through. Do you want me to take you as you go through that, Toby? Where you haven't gotten on the camera. Yeah, there's a cave. King Philip's cave. And it's thought that in ancient times, possibly five or six thousand years ago, that ancient peoples came here to observe the solstice. Some of the rocks show evidence of having been chipped to assist in lining up the exact shadow of the solstice. And also from here, it's thought that observations of lunar standstills were made using the East Hill about 600 feet away and sighting the moon over certain rocks on the horizon. The town of Sharon has preserved parts of the East Hill skyline so that further research will be possible. In ancient times, there was no forest. It was like a tundra or grasslands after the last ice age. So that made the observations even better. And a lot of times people say, I can't even see the rocks on the hill because of the woods. So how did they observe it? But it was all sort of a prairie grassland tundra. And that is all I have to say. 